the 4th of July, the Independence Day season is coming up and fireworks are an important part of how we commemorate our war for independence and the founding of our nation. And fireworks are, are fun uh, for people, but they have to be used with good common sense. Uh, safety things, obviously adults need to supervise teenagers with fireworks. Uh, don't let your teenagers run wild with the fireworks. Just put a, little, put a little limit on that. And obviously small children don't really have the motor skills to effectively handle fireworks safely. So, so be very careful with uh, your small children around the fireworks. Uh, fireworks should only be used outdoors and always have some type of first aid firefighting uh, equipment there, a bucket of water, a garden hose, a fire extinguisher, so that if there is an inadvertent fire, you can take immediate action to take care of it. Know your fireworks, read the labels, and understand what they will do and, and how to use them safely. There'll be those types of safety instructions will be on there, so it's really important to read the fireworks and understand how, how to uh, use them, especially clearance from other combustibles so that uh, you don't have an unnecessary uh, fire. Alcohol and fireworks don't mix. Uh, save the alcohol for after the show or, or have a designated fireworks shooter, uh, but avoid alcohol and fireworks. <clears throat> Only light one firework at a time. Don't bun bundle them together with duct tape and try to get some kind of a better, geez, I'm giving people bad ideas. Don't, <laughs> don't try to bundle them together and, and try to get a bigger effect. Uh, that, that, quite frankly, that's very dangerous and dud fireworks. Be very careful with dud fireworks. Um, just if a, if a firework doesn't, uh, doesn't work, leave it alone for about 20 minutes. You never know, there might be a little um, spark in there or something that causes the, a delayed ignition of the firework. Leave it alone for about 20 minutes and then take the firework and put it into a bucket full of water and uh, soak it really good. Avoid using homemade fireworks or illegal explosives. Obviously, these things could injure or kill you or start a fire. And when you get done with your fireworks uh, use, soak all of the fireworks debris in a bucket full of water. Uh, keep them outdoors in some type of a metal can, some type of a, a non-combustible firework container. We, every 4th of July season, we run a few fires in the city poly carts where people put their firework display materials in the plastic blue poly cart and the poly cart catches fire. Uh, most importantly, if anybody gets hurt or if um, there is a fire, due to the fireworks use, call 911 right away. And we would much rather get a call for some kind of a minor under control, it's already out situation, than get, one, get, a, get the call when it's too late. We, we would much rather people um, call the fire department right away with 911, get us there. Now the, the city has some specific regulations about the use of fireworks. Um, all consumer fireworks that are legal in the state of Kansas are legal for sale and use in the city of Hayes. But in the city, fireworks may only be sold July 2, 3, and 4. And they can only be used July 2, 3, and 4 between the hours of 10 a.m. and 11 p.m. And uh, it's not on the handout, but this year um, the city just adopted a, uh, a new fire code so uh, people who have sky lanterns, and, and there are some use of sky lanterns, sky lanterns have to be tethered so that they can't just float away and land someplace and cause a fire. They need to be on a string, a piece of fishing line, something like that so they can float away, but you have control over the sky lanterns. Uh, state law has some specific prohibitions about fireworks use that people should pay attention to. One is don't be throwing or using fireworks from a vehicle. Moving or stationary, uh, that's not safe. Uh, fireworks are not to be used on a street or a public right-of-way. Uh, fireworks cannot be used within 100 feet of a hospital, nursing home, or fireworks sales location. 
and within fireworks cannot be used within 50 feet of a fuel pump or a gas station. And those are just some good common sense things. Uh, I would like to close with this uh, point. Practice courtesy and respect to all your neighbors. Uh, use common sense when you're using your fireworks. Don't, don't do things to upset your neighbors, uh, you know, cause, them, cause them a nuisance, and clean up after yourself with the fireworks use. That, that's the one complaint that we hear every year is people had, had a lot of fireworks, but they just didn't clean up after themselves when they got done. And that's just common courtesy. It's how we keep a clean city and how we care about each other in our city is to, um, you know, think about the other person and clean up after yourself when you're done.